Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the recent developments about Herschel Walker and how it's going to affect the United States Senate election in Georgia this November. Before I start, I'd like to say if you like my content, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and like. With all that said, let's get into it. So in the last day or so, a couple things have come out about Herschel Walker that are not exactly optimal for his campaign. Uh, the Daily Beast broke this article this story about Herschel Walker paying for his girlfriend's abortion. And this is big because obviously Herschel Walker is running on the Republican platform, which is anti-abortion and pro-life. And now it's coming out that he paid for a girl's abortion. And they, getting into the article, it says that Walker has no exception policy for abortion, but he funded this abortion. Uh, the woman has receipts saying she has a $575 receipt from the abortion clinic and a get well card from Herschel Walker and a bank deposit receipt that included an image of a personal check from Walker. Obviously, this is a really bad look for Herschel Walker since this whole campaign he has been saying he's pro-life and as I mentioned earlier, he said no exceptions. So his campaign did come out and say that this is a false story. His spokesperson said that. Uh, he said that they are just targeting black conservatives, and that's really all he said. He denied the story. He denied ever paying for this abortion. But it does seem like the evidence is that this did happen. I mean, the woman did show receipts. And so this is a really bad look for Walker. And just when the Walker campaign probably thought that their day couldn't get any worse, Walker's son, Christian Walker, came out and spoke against his dad. He said every family member of Herschel Walker asked him not to run for office because we all knew some of his past, every single one. He decided to give us a middle finger and air out all of his dirty laundry in public while simultaneously lying about it. He then went on to say that his mom and him would really appreciate if Herschel Walker stopped lying and making a mockery of them, and went on to criticize Walker trying to appear as a family man when he left them to bang a bunch of women and threatened to kill them, according to Christian Walker. He said, I don't care about someone who has had a bad past and takes accountability. He said he cares that he's lying and acting like he's some sort of moral Christian upright man when he lived a life of destroying other people's lives. So that's what his son had to say about him last night. And his son is actually uh, a pretty Republican person. If you scroll down, you can see he's praising Ron DeSantis and his response to the Hurricane Ian uh, situation that's happening down in Florida. And so him coming out against his dad really shows that there's some really bad family issues happening with Herschel Walker right now. Of course, this is all happening five weeks out from the general election. So how is this going to affect the general election? Right now in the Real Clear Politics average, Warnock is leading Walker by 0.7%. This race has been hovering around a point lead for Walker to a point lead for Warnock for the last couple months, so it's very clearly going to be a very close race. In fact, if you take out the Quinnipiac poll, which always tends to overestimate Democrats, this race is exactly tied in the average. Obviously, these stories are not going to help Walker, so in my opinion, it's really just a matter of how much these stories hurt Walker. You could see Warnock expand his lead probably by up to three points. I don't think this is going to change that many Republicans' minds, but it could see a lot of undecided start to break for Warnock or just sit out instead of voting for Walker like they had initially planned to do. Either way, I do still think this race is going to go to a runoff, but yesterday in my Senate prediction, I said that I think that Walker is probably going to get the most votes in round one, but now I'm not really sure. I think Warnock's probably going to benefit from this, and Warnock does have some family issues and skeletons in his closet that the Walker campaign could campaign on too, but this is obviously a huge blow to Walker's momentum and really any chances he has of victory. Now, of course, this isn't the only big race in Georgia this year. There's also the governor election between Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams. And Brian Kemp has been leading every single poll conducted so far, basically. Uh, he's always around the six to eight point leading range against Stacey Abrams. And truthfully, I don't really see that much ticket splitting. Not enough for Warnock to win by like three or four. So I do still think this race is going to be really close. In my opinion, Kemp's huge lead is definitely helping Walker stay afloat in the polls. I do think there's going to be some ticket splitting. I think there's probably going to be a few Kemp-Warnock voters. But I don't think there's going to be enough for an eight-point difference like the polls are showing. I think probably Kemp will outrun Walker by maybe five points at most. So I do think Walker is being helped by Kemp. But these stories could actually 
bring down Kemp. If it's bringing down Walker, maybe Kemp will be affected too. Maybe people will see the Republican next to Walker's name and think, oh, Brian Kemp's a Republican. Is this what they stand for? And it might hurt him too. So we'll just have to see how polling unfolds in the next couple weeks after these story or after these stories have broken and just see how it affects the races in Georgia. There's only five weeks today until the election. So there's a lot of time for this to affect the races, but I'm not sure if it'll be able to tank Kemp or what's going to happen. I think we're just going to have to wait and see. That's all I really have to say about these stories for now. If you like this video, leave a like and comment and subscribe. Comment telling me what you think about the whole situation and my thoughts on it. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.